Well, this time of year, a care package can mean many different things to many people, but you might not know that the tradition actually started 70 years ago this month. Who knew? And now the original care package has been reinvented to help Syrian refugees so that they can make it through their winters. Uh, Globe TV correspondent Mike Saray has the story. I was one of the very first care package recipients and having just grown up and not having had any food, we were just emaciated, I mean really thin. Renate Center remembers the first care packages of powdered eggs, corned beef and fruit preserves she received as a young German refugee at the end of World War II as if they were manna from heaven. When I came home to my mother and showed her this, I said, the Americans did this. It just left such an imprint. How Americans can do this to the enemy, you know? I mean, I just said, wow. For a $10 donation to care back in December 1945, Americans could buy and ship boxes of surplus army rations to post-war Europe that could feed 10 people during one of the greatest humanitarian crises of the 20th century. The care package to me is an icon of American generosity. It sort of encapsulates uh, the impulse to uh, do something directly for one person to help another person. <laughs> Flash forward to the greatest refugee crisis in Europe in the Middle East since World War II. More than four million displaced people and counting. The majority of them without any source of income, living on their own outside of traditional refugee camps. And it's winter. This could be described as a new care package. It's an electronic voucher. The food vouchers work like any other debit card, but have a monthly limit per family and can only be used to buy food, hygiene, and household essentials. New credit is added monthly with funding from the UN and international aid organizations. It's faster, better, and cheaper for delivering essential food and clothing than shipping, storing, and delivering actual care packages. These two families are new arrival uh, from Syria. CARES relief workers in Turkey, many of them Syrian refugees themselves, make sure the voucher cards get to the neediest, like this extended family of 13 living in an abandoned warehouse just across the Turkish border from Syria. CARE is also giving families a one-time winterization voucher card to buy heaters and coats and blankets to get them through this winter. So by giving the voucher, rather than giving a set kit of in-kind donations, it enables the family to choose what's right for them and to meet their own needs better. These food vouchers started off with a value of $30 a month per person until a shortfall in international funding forced the UN to Twitter nearly a quarter million refugees that their vouchers are being cut off. Today in Turkey, this voucher is worth about $18 a month per person. That means 60 cents a day for food. The world spends more on, on uh, bubble gum than we do on our, our broader humanitarian responses. We have a historic moment in time, and uh, in another generation, we want to look back and we want to be able to say we were as generous uh, at this moment in time as we were, for instance, after World War II. Like the original, these new care packages still depend on public donations. On the Turkey-Syria border, Mike Saray reporting for ABC News. You know, I like the fact that it doesn't feel like a handout, that they're able to pick yeah. what they want mm -hmm. to make a difference in their lives and families. And we should point out that it really is a, a, a big need there because you have about 2 million registered uh, Syrian refugees Just living in, in Turkey, Turkey alone, yeah. 4.3. And that's only over. the documented ones. You know, they expect exactly. significantly more than that. Um, yeah. Undocumented. So um, we oh. should mention that Care USA has set up a designated fund for its Syrian refugee program at my.care.com. Dot org, dot excuse me, dot org. All right, coming up, the year in heroes. The people we admire most in 2015. You're watching World News Now. World News Now continues after this from our ABC stations.